channel Baking and Buttercream. Today we're making baby eclairs. So let's take a break and bake. All right guys, so like I said in the intro, we are making baby eclairs. These baby eclairs were actually requested by a Baking and Buttercream viewer. I'm so glad I'm able to do these requested videos for you guys. And so just keep them coming. Keep letting me know by my social medias, messaging me there or down in the comments below. Like always, remember to like, comment, and share this video with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm so excited for how many subscribers that we're getting. I'm so glad to have more members with the Baking and Buttercream family. Now let's bake these eclairs. The ingredients you need are one cup of flour, one cup of water, four eggs, half a cup of butter, one teaspoon of salt, two and one fourth cup of whole milk, one fourth cup of cornstarch, one fourth cup sugar, four egg yolks, one teaspoon of vanilla, four ounces of chocolate chips, one fourth cup of heavy cream. All right, so the first step that we're gonna do is actually be making our vanilla cream to go inside of our eclairs. Into a medium pot, we're gonna need to add our milk, cornstarch, sugar, egg yolks, and our vanilla, and then we're gonna whisk that all together. We're gonna put it on the stove on medium heat until it starts to thicken. And then we're gonna put it in a bowl, put saran wrap over it, and put that in the fridge. Now in another pot, we're gonna add in our water, butter, salt, and have that simmer over medium until the water's all melted. Then we're gonna take that off the heat and add in our flour. Then we'll put it back onto the heat at medium and mix that together for two minutes. After that, we're gonna take it off the heat for the final time, put it in a separate bowl, and be time to mix it up. Mix your eggs up one at a time. Now that our dough is all complete, we're gonna add it into our piping bag. I'm using a silicone piping bag, but you can use whichever one you want, a disposable one or a silicone one that you can actually find at my store. There's a link down in the description below to my website where you can click baking supplies, and there's a list of everything I use, so you can get it there, or there's also a special link down there directly to my store where you just click on that and it'll send you directly to the list. And then we're gonna put them onto our tray. After that, you're gonna wanna take some water and just brush it over the top of the eclairs. And then put them in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. After that, we're gonna turn down the heat to 350 and keep them in there for another 20 to 25 minutes. There's just a couple more minutes until our eclairs are all done baking. So we're gonna go ahead and make the ganache for the top. And we're also gonna fill our piping bag with the custard that we made earlier. To make the ganache, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your heavy cream and put it in a small sauce pot. You're gonna heat that up to just under boiling and put that in a bowl with your chocolate chips and let it sit there for about one to two minutes. After that, mix it up real well and then you'll have your ganache. But don't forget to grab your custard and put that in a piping bag and set that off to the side to be ready to fill these eclairs. Whenever you pull your eclairs out of the oven, make sure to take a skewer or something to poke a hole all the way through so that you can pipe your custard all the way through. Now we have our custard and our ganache all ready, so let's decorate these eclairs. All you have to do is take your piping bag full of the custard and squeeze that all the way through your eclair, then dip them into the ganache. All right guys, I'm gonna finish decorating these, but I really have like almost no patience, and these took a while to make, so I think I'm gonna do the taste test now. These are so good. Even though you're supposed to technically wait for the chocolate to harden on top, it's still good. And the custard inside is amazing. And you can even taste, you can taste the custard all the way through. It's so good, you should really try these. Thank you so much for watching this video of baking and buttercream. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so glad I was able to make this for you guys. As always, make sure to click the description links down below to my social medias, website links, store links, things like that. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment as well on another thing you want me to make, and share this video with all of your friends. Make sure to click one of these videos right here. This one's something that YouTube recommends, and this one is a video I think you'll really enjoy. Click this icon right here so that you can subscribe to my channel. All right, have a great day.